The Dust Bowl occurred 90 years ago, but we have one occurring today. It's happening again, version 2.0. This is serious. We have to stop. That's just a short clip from the documentary film Common Ground. The film explores the commonality shared by Americans from various backgrounds, including political affiliations and regions across the country. The documentary highlights the importance of soil health for the overall health and prosperity of our country. And the filmmakers, Josh and Rebecca Tickell, are uh, here Thank joining you. us this morning to talk about it. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having us. I, I got to watch, like I said, a vast majority of the film, and I was just so... I don't know that I've thought about specifically the soil and soil health as part of an overall environmental conversation. Well, with Texas being a big ag state, this is a big conversation for us right now. And of course, we're a nation that needs to find common ground, and what better place to find it than the soil? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about regenerative farming and what does that mean in terms of regular agriculture? So regenerative farming is different from conventional agriculture in the sense there's no tillage, there's no pesticide, herbicide, fungicide usage. It's really farming in the way that nature would have us farm. It's building soil. That's the idea of regenerative agriculture. And by building soil, we can actually draw down all of the carbon we've emitted into the atmosphere, into our soil, and have nutrient-dense food and have the farmers make a profit. One thing that I thought was interesting when you talked about uh, bridging gaps and bridging people come, maybe coming at this issue from different perspectives, you talk in the film with some people who like it's environmentally wise to do and it also makes financial sense. They realized that this was an issue that was affecting their bottom line in addition to affecting the environment. Yeah. Yeah, well, most farmers get about four cents on the dollar. For our food dollar, they only get four cents. But this is a way for them to make way more profit. 90% of farmers and ranchers that try regenerative agriculture, in the first year, they make more money. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. And when we take a look at regular farming practices, you know, I think it can be a little scary talking about leaving some of these chemicals. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I also want to touch on the importance of how you really focused on incorporating indigenous voices and voices of black farmers. Why was that so important? Well, my dad's a farmer. I come from a legacy farming family, and they loved using chemicals. They loved tillage. Um, but you know what they loved even more than that was th their soil. They loved their land. Farmers are, want to be good stewards of the earth that they care. So if there's an opportunity for them to give up the tillage and give up the pesticides and actually have their farm thrive and function and make money, I know that farmers are going to make that change, just like my dad is starting to. Yeah, and, then and in terms of the black and indigenous voices that we have in the film, one of the amazing things we learned is that for 10,000 years or more, indigenous people in this country were actually managing landscapes. We think, oh, they're just hunter-gatherers. No, they were building whole ecosystems to eat from. And a lot of those techniques are what we're using in regenerative agriculture today. Well, because you also talk in the film, it's not just farms of enormous size. It's people's front yards <laughs> and, and, and the produce that can come from that. That was pretty mind-blowing that you can really get quite the yield if you use that space correctly. Uh, over 80% of the food grown on Earth is on small-scale farms. Yeah. And in fact, everybody can be a farmer. There's a great opportunity for everyone to participate in growing food. That really is regenerative, to get your hands dirty, to touch the food that you're putting in your body, to smell the healthy soil and dirt. It's good for our bodies. It's good for our soul. It's great for the planet. Yeah. Josh, I, I, I want to go back to a quote that you said recently. You said, the planet is boiling, your children are sick, and we're literally paying for sustainability that is making us sick with our tax dollars. Just an incredible statement on, on what your message is with the documentary. How can folks really contribute to change in their own backyards, and where can we see your film? Yeah, great. Well, what we forget is that 9 out of 10 Americans are metabolically unhealthy today. That's all because of our food. Where does our food come from? The soil. So Common Ground, the movie that we're talking about, it's screening tonight here in Austin as part of the Food Tank series. It's at the Farmhouse. Bar Mansion. Bar, Bar Mansion. Mansion Farmhouse. You can show up, roll in. So that's one way to see it. Another way to see it is we're doing a huge Earth Day national release. We'll have it here in theaters in Austin. That's April 22nd, Earth Day. So that's another opportunity. And then, of course, it'll be streaming in September. Wonderful. Josh and Rebecca, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for visiting with us. And good luck tonight. We'll be right back. Thank you.